What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Now, we got the weekend in the click today, you guys, for the first time. Now, last night, he had a concert, and he couldn't be able to sing and finish it through. So, he ended up telling his fans after one song that his voice went out. Now, however, he was very remorseful. He was very emotional. He did let them know that they will all get a refund for the show and that he will be doing another show for them with an apology. Now, y'all take a look at the song that he did sing, and the voice was cracked. Y'all take a look. Now that was supposedly the moment where his voice cracked at the end. Now he posted in his stories and he said, my voice went out during the first song and I'm devastated. Felt it go in and my heart dropped. My deepest apologies to my fans here. I promise I will make it up to you with a new date. Now here's the actual footage of him talking to his fans and apologizing. Y'all take a look. But I can't give you the concert that I want to give you right now. I'm gonna make sure everybody's good. Get your money back, but I'll, also, I'll do a show real soon for you guys. But I wanted to come out and personally apologize and not tweet it or Instagram it or whatever. I want you guys to know that I can't give you what I want to give you. Right now. I apologize. I'm so sorry. I love you guys so much. You know how much this kills me, right? I'm sorry. I love you. Thank you so much. Now, I commend The Weeknd for even coming out on the stage and telling everybody that he's not able to sing. Because in the beginning of his speech, he mentioned he didn't want to tweet it or post it. He wanted to personally come out to his fans and let them know. Definitely much respect to him for even doing that because honestly, when artists cannot come out on the stage, they just don't do it. They'll just leave a tweet or a story and say why they couldn't come out. Now, obviously, a lot of the fans were not impressed. They were upset and they took to social media and started ranting. But he also also had fans who had his back and was not tolerating the people who talked. One person said everybody leaving the Sophie Stadium after the weekend came out and canceled the concert. Do I look like I give a f because I don't. I don't care. I don't care. I'm great. <laughs> I'm great. I'm great. <laughs> not New York for Flavor Flavor. I'm <laughs> the weekend sing his whole tour live. No lip sync and a heavy backtrack and as soon as he cancels one show for his sake he's public enemy number one the weekend has been singing non-stop for the past month or so and y'all want to talk down on him losing his voice we lost our voices by singing three songs don't talk down on my bae for real i'm about to jump off the roof of sophie after the money i spent on drinks and for the weekend to walk off for the people who are at the weekend's concert and being absolutely disrespectful because he canceled due to the fact that he lost his voice y'all some ugly ass and I, oh. This is how I feel, Click. I feel like at the end of the day, The weekend is a human being. He is not a robot. I think that people are overreacting. I think that at the end of the day, he's refunding y'all money back. He did come out and he was respectful to tell people that he's not going to be able to sing. And I also think that people should just get over themselves. The end. Y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all feel about this. I'd love to know your thoughts, but let's move straight on to Chantel in the Click today, you guys, for the first time. And if you guys do not know who she is, she she is from the hit show 90 Days with her soon-to-be ex-husband, Pedro. Now, they ended up doing so good on that show where they end up having their own show, The Family Chantel. Now, click. these two are now finally getting a divorce because Pedro cannot take Chantel anymore. He announced it on the show while they were filming. Now, y'all already know I made my reservations, and y'all know we most definitely going to talk about it. Y'all take a look. You know what? Yeah, I tried to do the separation, but you haven't respected my space. I know I haven't respected yeah, your and, space. Yeah, and you, you try to be a little bit, you know, like, very pursue me. I don't like people try to, you know, chase me. I don't like that thing. The only, the only reason I want to talk to you because uh, right now, because I'm filming, like, for real, I want to get out of the house. I want my divorce. 
Ouch. He said he didn't want her to pursue him. Basically, I guess he felt like she was controlling, overbearing, and he decided that he wanted to finally have a divorce. Now, just like every other divorce, sometimes it just does not end up well. It is getting very much so messy because according to reports, it says that the Dominican Republic natives appear to be irritated by his wife and eager to terminate their five-year marriage. Pedro met with a divorce lawyer and learned that since he has been in the country for five years, he no longer needs Chantel to apply for his permanent citizenship. He then decided that he wanted half of her future income. Tell no, tell the no, no, no. Yeah, the no. Oh, hell no. Uh, her future income? Now that's doing too much. But unfortunately, according to reports, Pedro, divorce lawyer, informed him that the divorce does not change Chantel's financial obligation to Pedro. Since he signed on to the sponsor his K-1 visa and assumed financial support, Pedro's lawyer explained that Chantel would still have to financially support Pedro until he has been in the country for 10 years. The U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Service services website specifies that after signing an affidavit of support you accept legal responsibility for financially supporting the sponsored immigrants generally until they become u.s citizens or are credited with 40 quarters of work oh, it's a show f ass down well it looked like she definitely did that to herself because before you sign on a dotted line says you were supposed to read and understand that this man could definitely get into them pockets for 10 years well if that wasn't enough shocking news According to All About the Tea, said rapper Drake shoots his shot at Chantel amid the divorce battle. Well, according to Gossip of the City Tea, he has been having his little fun with his little new cutie, seen leaving with another cutie. So it looked like Champagne Poppy has been having his little fun around the board. Now, I'm hoping that she looked at that DM and just smiled and was flattered because that's about all you're going to get from him because he is not going to be settling down. Champagne Poppy is out here. Well, that's all I got for that. Good luck and prayers to her divorce. Next in the click we got bow wow in the click today you guys now click it looks like bow wow is stirring up some damn conversation in the streets because he came out with this diamond package a thousand dollars the bow wow diamond vip package includes the ultimate hang with bow wow 30 to 45 minute personal hang and tour conducted by bow only 10 fans in each city will get a behind the scenes look at backstage areas lounge tour bus and more personal meet and greet and photo with Bow Wow, attend Bow Wow's pre-show VIP lounge party, digital download of your meet and greet with Bow Wow, souvenir VIP laminate and lanyard, commemorative VIP hoodie, exclusive drawstring bag. So wait, y'all remember when Chris Brown stirred up a lot of controversial conversations when he did the thousand dollar meet and greet with his fans? He also shaded Megan Thee Stallion for copying his recent meet and greet, saying, I'm happy that my meet and greet are starting to inspire artists to actually give a F about their fans. I didn't invent the wheel or meet and greets, but I damn sure set the tone. Well, I gotta admit that he did, but Megan Thee Stallion been doing meet and greets. It just was not talked about. However, what made it controversial is because of that thousand dollar price on only just taking a picture with him. But by the look of this diamond package, it looked like Bow Wow was up for a challenge and it looked like he's giving more perks with the thousand dollar fee. But I got a question, Click. Are y'all gonna pay that thousand dollar to get all those perks? with Bow Wow. Y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all feel about that. I'd love to know your thoughts, but let's move straight on to this next topic, and we're gonna talk about Portia Williams in the click today, you guys, and there has been talks in the streets about Portia coming back on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, but click, it looks like Portia ain't coming back unless the price is right, cause yesterday's price is not today's price. And click, I guess not, because the rumors are Bravo is paying Portia $5 million to come back on the show. Now, they most definitely must be thirsty for some views and ratings, because the ratings is probably not like how it used to be when NeNe Leaks and Portia was on the show. Now, if y'all don't remember, Portia left the show when she started dating this African rich man who was the husband of another cast member on the show, and she didn't want people up in her teeth. So, click, it looked like she is definitely 
A hundred percent wanted for sure. They probably want to know how she got with Simon. Anyways, y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all feel about that. Would y'all be excited to see Portia back? I know I want to see NeNe leaks. Y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all feel about that. I'd love to know your thoughts, but let's move straight on to 90 Days Eve in Mohammed. Now, if you guys haven't seen my last video, I covered the fact that Mohammed told Eve that he cheated and he alleged that she put her hands on him and she got arrested. Well, it looks like he allegedly lied and he may be forced to be deported back to his country, which basically means that he will have zero credibility. Well, it looked like Mr. I Want My Green Card may be going back home sooner than later. Karma is most definitely a bitch. When you come and try to use somebody, sometimes they turn around and smack you right back in your face. Now, y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all feel about this. I'd love to know your thoughts. On the road to 50K, if you guys haven't already subscribed, make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button and join the Flawlessly Kings and Queens. I love you guys. See you guys in the next upload. Bye.